what is pricing strategy? It's um, it's uh, knowing knowing what you what you're charging for and getting a fair price for the value that you provide. There and there are numerous ways to do that. You know, I, I sort of think there's about uh, what, about nine different pricing models or strategies, if you like, sort of starting from some that are sort of generally developed in a business. They're they're very inward focused. So that's things like cost plus pricing. Um, which about 70 to 80% of companies do. All they do is they add up their costs, throw on a margin, cross their fingers and hope for the best. Um, and you've got things like market-driven pricing. So you just let the competitor set your price. Um, Non-linear pricing, you see that in a lot of utilities where there's a charge to be on a network and then there's a charge for what goes through the network. And then you've got the dynamic pricing and revenue management that the, um, the airlines became famous for and have been transferred over to the hotels and things like that. So there's sort of four sort of inward looking or inward developed pricing models. Then you've got some pricing models that are co-created with customers, um, which are which are generally value-based pricing. You've got some that are, um, are completely created by the customer. So auctions, for example, at the end of the day, a company provides the mechanism for the auction. But the customer is the one that actually determines the price. Um, and then you've got things like pay what you want pricing. So um, John Bon Jovi has a restaurant or two in uh, in New Jersey and the pricing is pay what you want. Um, but if you can't pay, you do have to do the dishes for an hour instead, <laughs> which is a little bit different to lentil as anything here in Melbourne, but they were a pay what you want model. And they probably got, um, I think they got cleaned out by a, a drunken party after one, um, one um, Melbourne Cup. And there's always this argument is pricing art or is pricing science. And I sort of come down firmly on the art side because you know most um, most sciences sciences have a repeatable law of um, you know body of law, so someone can come along and repeat it. But with pricing, you're dealing with human behaviour, and what someone's prepared to pay for a Damien Hirst or an Ant, a Warhol is completely different from the next person, right? So there's there's nothing repeatable or scientific about. Um, about pricing and there's there's no definition or dictionary of pricing and so forth so some of those strategies that i just mentioned for one company they're a strategy and for another company they're a tactic using time for example you can use airlines use time really well the earlier the book you cheaper you, you fly but and that's using it as a strategy but then you've got a retailer like a jb hi-fi who might say we've got a special on on big tvs but you've got to buy it before the grand final because it's a grand final special and they're using it tactically so there's no real hard and fast rules in, in pricing it's just i just the critical thing is knowing where you're going and why and i always like to think you know a strategy is you know you've got a strategy when you you know what your next move is after your competitor responds to your next move because um some people just actually don't look beyond you know what their what their next pricing move is never mind what the competitor is going to do yeah.